This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speech and with another PowerPoint trick to help you make happy hour. How to use the Hammer tool, a free add-in developed by Steve Rinsberg, a big thanks to Steve, to align type two objects, which I'll describe in a second, between your PowerPoint slides, which are alignments you don't want to ignore if you want your presentation to look professional. And I define type two objects as anything not set on your slide master. To see how to align these type one objects, check out our other video. And here in PowerPoint, I'll hit Shift F5 for slideshow mode so you can see the problem we're gonna fix. And just look at my boxes there in the center of my slide as I flip between my slides. As I flip, notice that the boxes begin to drift out and if I move backwards, they begin to drift back in. This is what I mean by type two unaligned objects. These are objects that were not set on my slide master. I built them myself. And as I flip between my slides, they begin to move around, which creates a bit of seasickness that you want to avoid. And these are the types of unalignments that you can quickly solve with the hammer tool. And back here in PowerPoint, once you've downloaded and installed the hammer tool, which you can see how to do in our blog, you'll get this add-ins menu up in your ribbon. And first I want to point out this blue circle. This little funky dialog box tells the hammer tool how you want your objects to be positioned. I usually use the upper left-hand corner of the object I'm copying, but you have other options. So I'll select OK. And the way to use this tool, you first select the object that you want to copy the position of. You select the copy button. You close the dialog box. I'll navigate to my second slide. I'll hit page down on my keyboard. Select the object I want to align to it and simply click the hammer tool, which if you didn't know any better, would make a stadium full of power pointers lose their mind. Seriously, this simple tool solves one of the most tedious PowerPoint alignment tasks out there, so I highly recommend you check it out. And let me just finish off the rest of this slide. I also want to align the objects on the right side of my slide, so I'll hit page up, back to my original slide. I'll select the opportunities rectangle, copy its position, select OK, hit page down on my keyboard, select the product highlights, rectangle, and just hammer it into place. So it's super easy using the hammer tool. Now for objects on the same slide that you want to align, you can simply use the alignment tool, Alt-1 for alignment, R for right, which you can find out how to do on our rapid fire alignments post. I'll hit F5, and notice as I now work through my presentation, those alignment issues have now been solved using the hammer tool. So that's how to use the hammer tool, which is a free add-in you can download on Steve's website, which I highly recommend that you do. To see how to get it all set up, check out the link in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.